Timberwolves have a better team, but the Dallas Mavericks will win this series in seven games. All around, the Timberwolves, they should beat the Dallas Mavericks. But in fact, the Dallas Mavericks, bro, they got the best one-two punch in the playoffs and arguably the best one-two punch in the NBA that we've seen all season. Now, I told y'all way early on that Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving are a reincarnated version of LeBron James and Kyrie Irving in Cleveland. There's a lot of similarities between Luka Doncic and Kyrie and Bron James and, and, and Kyrie Irving. There's so many different similarities. When we look at how great that duo was in Cleveland with LeBron and Kyrie, it was mainly because Kyrie could play off ball and you had a, a dominant facilitator in LeBron James. What do we see over in Dallas right now? A, a Kyrie Irving who's playing off the ball and a Luka Doncic who loves distributing the ball and can find other people. Obviously, the defense of Luka Doncic isn't on the same level as LeBron. But what Kyrie can do with the distributor who understands the game at a high level like Luka Doncic is insane. And that's what we've been seeing all playoff series. Not just this series between the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Dallas Mavericks, but we've seen that last series with the Dallas Mavericks and in the first round with the Dallas Mavericks as well. This team is equipped. They're equipped with high IQ and that's ultimately what's going to set them apart when they're playing against the Timberwolves you always hear playoff experience playoff experience playoff experience is going to make a difference and this is what they mean because although the Dallas Mavericks aren't the better team in, in this matchup against the Timberwolves Timberwolves are all around put together a little bit better than the Dallas Mavericks this is where the IQ and the playoff experience comes in because these guys are able to keep poise all through the game and they understand that they have to really, really limit their mistakes in order to close games and win ball games um, game after game in this series. Take it one step at a time. Just the simple things that are forgotten when it's a high intense point in the game or a high intensity type of run going on in the game. It's the simple things sometimes. And because Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving both already have such a high IQ leading the Dallas Mavericks, they're able to help out the corner boys and Derrick Jones Jr. All of those guys, like, man, it, 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 P.J. Washington, able to help them out, help them understand what needs to be done in order to win the game. And that's what we've seen really in game one. And I think we're going to see that uh, amongst the series in total. Like, I don't think the Wolves are, you know, going to lay down at all. I am expecting the Wolves to, you know, push back and fight back and make some adjustments because one of the main things we've seen, too, the Timberwolves, y'all heard me talk about Rudy Gobert. I, I told y'all, fluke defensive player, th fluke three-time defensive player of the year. The man needs his awards checked because he's been getting cooked in a pick and roll. He was getting cooked in a pick and roll, and that seemed to be the bread and butter for the Dallas Mavericks, putting Rudy Gobert in the pick and roll. Kyrie Irving putting Rudy Gobert in the pick and roll. Luka Doncic putting Rudy Gobert in the pick and roll, forcing him to choose whether to take the ball, the 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 ball handler or the the roll man. And clearly Rudy Gobert ain't understand what the hell he had to do. Because anytime he was going to commit to Luka on taking the ball handler or commit to Kyrie or whoever was the ball handler after a pick and roll, the man was still stuck in between of do I commit or do I not? He just couldn't make up his mind. And it resulted in a bucket every single time for the Dallas Mavericks. So that's one key area that the, that the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves really, really have to fix. Other than that, though, I, I think they'll make some adjustments. I would love to see the Timberwolves go on and win. But the Dallas Mavericks, boy, them some bad boys. Them some bad boys, man. And that's a tough duo to, to overcome. That's a tough duo to stop. Meaning, especially when they play defense like they did in the first game and like they've been doing in the playoffs. That's a tough That's a tough team to beat, man. That's a tough team to beat. Anyway, look, I think either way it goes, above all, bro, you're going to see either the Dallas Mavericks or the Minnesota Timberwolves holding up the, la the um, trophy at the end of the season, man. They, either one of them teams is going to win the finals, whether it's the Minnesota Timberwolves or the Dallas Mavericks. Whoever wins this series out of the West is 1,000% winning the NBA Finals.